Extra police officers are on patrol this morning here in New York City in the wake of those attacks in Spain. CBS News national security analyst Fran Townsend was Homeland Security and Counterterrorism Advisor to President George W. Bush. Fran, good morning. Good morning. First with the news, U.S. law enforcement officials telling CBS News this morning that they have indications this was more than just an inspired ISIS attack. What does that mean? Well, if you look at the events as they've unfolded, right, you had the house which blew up when they failed to put together these gas canisters, probably for a car bomb. Then you had the tragic sort of seven block right rage of this car killing 14. You also had out in Canberra last night the an, another car attack people injured you've got five dead there they were wearing suicide belts so you can see as as you look at the chronology this was a fairly large cell had to have been in place for a while pretty good planning although their execution right of the explosive elements was not so good and so i think that this looks like as you're hearing from law enforcement now more much more directly controlled than just merely inspired. This wasn't somebody who got up and decided to take a car and, and ram it in a crowd. This was much more deliberate than and that. And is that the way it's going to go down these days now, Fran? Does you just get in a car, a vehicle, and just mow people down? There's a, a story in the Washington Post this morning that people in the area were upset that there weren't barricades in place to prevent this. Well, I think we've seen, uh, you know, whether it's in Great Britain or France, more and more areas that are restricted. You know, there are no vehicles where there are pedestrians Times gathering. Square. Correct. And so I think you're going to see more and more of this because it's difficult. Once somebody gets the car and decides to use it as a weapon, it's almost impossible to prevent them unless you have these vehicle barriers. This was a reasonably large cell. This could easily have been much worse. That's right. If these guys had successfully executed on the explosives, right, you can imagine instead of just, I, I don't want to minimize it, using the car as the weapon, imagine if the car had exploded in a, in a large public area. They didn't have automatic weapons. The, the, this terror cell seems to be similar in size to the one in France two years ago. The guys in France had automatic weapons. These guys did not. Why? Well, you know, it's interesting. We need to know more about who the individuals are that have been killed and are at large. I expect that it, the cell will be comprised not only of Spaniards, but probably of Moroccans coming from North Africa. And to come that sort of flow of extremists, you've got to cross a body of water. It is more difficult. And typically, the Spanish, between 2013 and 2016, have arrested 178 extremists. 40% mm. of them have been Moroccans, 40 Spaniards. You know, they're going to want to understand the composition of this cell, their travel patterns, communications, and how they were able to coordinate and get the component parts for the suicide belts and the gas cans. Well, they have people in custody. That has to be an advantage for law enforcement. Absolutely. You know, most times you see all, everybody's dead. Yeah, yeah. This is an advantage for the intelligence community. Thank you. Fran Townsend, thank you very much. Thank you.